skybomb. bomb. Mickey Blues can spot a target from a mile up in the sky. I'm your host Jesse B with Pop the Trunk Toys, and today we are featuring a long awaited for me Kang's Toys CTO3 Firmament. Now, this is Kang's Toys' third run on uh, the Predacons here with Dive Bomb. This is a very, very big box, folks. So I kind of had to back out the camera here. Uh, as you see here, you got this nice foil. Uh, picturing uh pretty much like a shoe box <laughs> pretty big though uh you got like a, a schematic view of uh dive bomb here in bird mode then you got the the bot mode here and it says ct i want to say chi u3 firmament you got the Kang's toys logo on top over here you just got some you know qc logos and whatnot you got the firmament on the bottom another firmament another one and then on the back, you have dive bomb here uh, in bird mode. And then you got the reverse of a schematic of uh, dive bomb here in uh, bot mode. So let's get this baby open. All right. Now this is like a, a shoe box. So you just, you know, open up the flap here, get this open. And of course you get that nice premium, you know, you just spent a lot of money feel with this box. <clears throat> then you open up the nice styrofoam inside here. Take the lid off. First off you get the, you know, the instruction booklet with the text back in here. And then you can see dive bomb is encased in all this styrofoam. Let's take this piece out. And let's take a look. And I wanna say that looks awesome, folks. Definitely, definitely worth the wait. Looks great in there. Seen a lot of reviews. You know, things are half and half, so-so. Let's see what this is all about. I'm gonna take them out of the package. We'll be right back. Alrighty, folks, and we're back. And here is Dive Bomb, slightly suited, slightly ready to get, you know, ready to rock and roll and whatnot because I didn't put no armament on them because I did want to show you the wings. They are quite large. But first, with accessories, let's start off with, you get one sword that kind of reminds me of the ones that came before. It's pretty much the same thing. Got the paint on here. You got the, you know, lower, um, the orange on there with the, the clear translucent. Looks, you know, just like the other one that we got. Pretty nice. And then we got your other hand because Dive Bomb is an arm. So you got the same articulation. You got the nice, you know, die cast piece right here. Makes it, give, gives it a good heft. And you can see all the different separation hinges and whatnot. Gives you quite a bit of range, you know, to do what you need to do. Looks good. And you get these two cannons here. These are very nicely done. You got the silver, the, the regular plastic, silver with tampo paint on there. This does separate. You know, you just plug in the two things right here. You got these uh, two grips, which look pretty cool. Let me put that one down. So you can, you can hold it like a, like a Gatling gun. You stretch down this arm right here. So, you know, you can walk around. You know, holding. Maybe throw it on some GI Joes. <laughs> no, but this does look like maybe for uh, combined mode and whatnot. You got the pegs right here for um, you know the larger gun that sits on on the armor predicate. Very nicely done. Nice sculpts. Very cool. And then you get these huge, and I mean huge, Swiss Army knife. What? <laughs> Uh, wings here and they do 
each articulate, you know, fan them out as much as you want, which looks pretty good. Oh, that one actually stays stationary. This one moves, then this one does, and it has, it could be folded just like this, or fold up. And then also, this one here on this side, you can see the nice paint on there, the reddish orange, and the little tampo stickers on there looking good. This one has like a swivel. And then this one comes out as the knife, which is pretty cool. You can, you know, put two of those knives and dive bombs in there. Looks very good. And this thing just keeps unfolding and unfolding. Quite large. Very nicely done. So now that I showed you all the accessories, let's get them armed up. Alrighty folks, and we're back. I just want to say look at that impressive wingspan. That is glorious. Now, if you don't really know the size of this figure, uh <laughs> those are those are pretty, you know, long, long uh wings he has there. And it does give a nice good flare to him. I mean you can see the gold shimmering on there, looking very nice. Definitely looks very intimidating. Uh, the wings do give him like a little bit of back heaviness in there, but I mean, he can still stand and hold his own, which is very nice. Let's just take a close up look to him. You can see all the nice tempos, the yellows, the reds, the clear translucence, the golds. It's really, really nice figure. Nicely done on this right here. Definitely those yellows come out really really good the nice you know feet and whatnot look nice and intimidating you can also you know uh, on the head here you can sit it back there is uh, like a little slot you can kind of post that back if you want to kind of keep you know if you just wanted just the, the head of the figure um, I don't really like that look because I believe you know dive, dive bomb had the, the head crest on, on top um, you got all these like nice little moving gadget parts on here up here you know you could use these as guns if you want you know things like that let me show you uh shield mode real quick all righty and here we have dive bomb here in this golden shield of destruction <laughs> i mean if you can't you know deflect the light and blind you then he's you know reflect your your laser rays but you can uh maneuver your guns any way you want to on here and of course you got the massive shield and you know from from his wings and whatnot but you get the double blasters on top which is a cool little thing all right now this guy, you know, he comes with all these goodie features. You know, you got the swords that plug into the to the wings and whatnot. You got his upper uh, feathers right here that turn into some kind of like blasters and whatnot. But he did come with that other hand. And when you got the other hand, you did get to complete this little crab guy scout thingamajig, which is kind of cool until, you know, we get the rest of the parts and then we combine it all into Predaking. King. But for now, that does look pretty cool. I mean, you got the die cast hands in here. You know, things are articulated. Arms can move. You got the spikes and whatnot. Each leg is articulated. Lots of fun. Pretty cool. Nice little feature that they threw in there. They didn't have to, but, you know, this thing has a whole lot of didn't have to's, I guess, with, you know, monkey pants and whatnot. <laughs> All right. So when we get to the figure, as you can see, you know, the, the hands, the swords just plug into the to the hand features with the little, you know, uh, small peg that fits in the hand here. And you see there. Uh, you can see that in the light. There you go, somewhat. Oh, there you go. All right, now, as far as articulation goes, for his head, you know, it's connected to the, to the bird head right now. So it gives you limited, I mean, give you a so-so look, you can, slightly turn it to the um, to left or right uh, you can't really well I guess you can kind of look up and you can look down with it but if you peel it back you have his head with you know uh, it can look down can look up can give you the so-so look can spin it all the way around if you like he has a, like this little crest on which is the bottom of the bird's mouth on there um, as far as the the shoulder goes you could 
you know, you got a, like a backward butterfly if you break uh, the mold. Let me get these wings out of the way real quick. I'm gonna raise them up, move them to the side so you can have a rotation go all the way around. You can bend his arm up to that far length. You can bring it back down, shoulder piece uh, moves by itself. You have this little uh, moving piece right here. You have a bicep swivel. You have a, a double hinged elbow and get you pretty good range, as you see there. And he also has this flap that bends up to cover the, the, the back of the elbow, which is very good. And then coming to the hands, they're on a swivel. The palm will make like a stop motion. And then here the, the thumb is on a hinge and it has a, um, another hinge here for the thumb to bend. And then your uh, fingers are on a ball, paste, ball peg on the, on the bottom. And then they have hinges in the middle. Give you great articulation. Bring that back. Raise this up a little bit. So he has, you know, rotation at the waist. You can pull up and give him an ab crunch if you like. Let me see. Move the hip flaps out of the way. Put his tail feather up for the legs. You could give you a nice good kick. To bring it to the back also very nice range you bring it back down get you out for the booyah kick nice ratchets in there bring this down <clears throat> for the knee get you a nice bend and go even farther it has uh, multiple joints in the knee area uh, probably for transformation which gives you really good range on the knees you have an upper thigh swivel here uh, for the Foot can point down, can move up, gives you a nice range side to side. The toes can split and the claws can move. And on the back too, you get a nice heel spur with the claw moving as well. Let's turn this bird around. You have the, the tail. You have the nice wings that, ooh, don't want to scratch my paint on there. Hold on. Really quick, pull that out. I'll just do the one wing so you can see how they spread out. And they do, as I showed earlier, all move. Uh, one was stuck very bad. I, I guess that's why I said that one doesn't move, but they do all move. I just uh, had to get it unstick. And then the very bottom one will move as well. It's like the gun one on top too as well. So in all, this is a great figure. Has a lot of articulation on there. Very fun. Um, a lot of things to do. Let's get some size comparisons. We'll be right up. Okay, let's do some really fast size comparisons really quickly. Let's back them out because of the wings. Okay, here he is next to Fans Toy Silverbolt, which is another tall, tall figure. And that's almost lining up there. You know, uh, Silverbolt seems to be slightly taller than he is. Here we go with his brother in Tantrum. And you can see that they pair up very nicely. Let's get some other Beast guys in there real quick. I know this doesn't have the same realm, but I have them on hand. And here he is next to the Transmetals Optimus Primal. And he is dwarfed by him. But, you know, hey. They're beast. Okay. Now will be it for my size comparisons. Now let's get them transformed. We'll be right back. Alrighty folks, and we're back. And now we have Dive Bomb suited and booted and ready to rock and roll in his bird mode. And this looks gorgeous, folks. If you take a look from the feet up to the glorious wings, you can just see how big and majestic they are very very cool very awesome and um the the transformation for this was a lot easier than uh tantrum and rampage i did quite enjoy this one a lot better and on here too you can um put the guns on the wings which makes it really cool you just have a little slot right here and then you just you know fold this little peg up for the gun and then those can go on there which is makes it look great because Dive Bomb did have some like bomb accessories 
which was pretty cool. And just take this off really quick. Now, I'm gonna move this out of the way really fast. <clears throat> but if you wanna see up close, just take a look at it. Take a look at the claws. These, you know, remember they do articulate on there, which makes it look really good. Take a look at the bird mode. These right here, you can have open or close. You know, and the jaw moves as well. Or the upper jaw, really. <laughs> and then the wings, of course. You could uh, fan them any which way you want. You know, you could bring them down if you like. However way you want it. I just got them kind of folded up to kind of uh, keep on the screen. You know, the, the legs still move, you know, up and down on there. And then the head will give you a uh, little bit of motion and whatnot. Look up and down, side to side, however you may wish. For a quick size comparison, really quick, I got Giga Power Swoop. You know, his little rival on here. And you can see just how big this bird is. That is very cool, very awesome. Um, I do like it in this bird mode. I mean, you know, since we're not kind of, you know, having all the parts yet, it would be a kind of cool way to keep it. It does look fantastic. Very nice. <clears throat> but you just see all the coloring, the tempos, the colors, the gold wings. I can't say enough good stuff about it. Looks really nice. Awesome. All right. Let's get it into its uh, combiner mode, and we'll be right back. All righty, folks, and we're back. And this is one hell of an arm right here. As you can see, you know, everything is in nice in place. The arm mode is gigantic, and I mean huge. Uh, you can see the wingspan in the back. I mean, you know, you're not too sure how thick, you know, the other pieces are going to be, but this thing is just going to be totally massive, way cool. I can't wait for the other three to come out. As you see here, you know, everything's tucked in nice and fine. You have the, the arms, you know, the hand here. Got the nice wrist uh, swivel. All the, you know, the fingers are articulated, like I said before. Uh, you got, you know, nice ratchets. You got swivels in here. Everything is just fantastic. Nice job, Kang Toys. Can't wait for the other pieces to come out. As a quick size comparison, let me put this down real fast. Ah, I'll hold it for you. Not cooperating. But here is the other hand. And you can see this boy is ready to go. Ready for some action. Wow, I can't wait, honestly. It's gonna be too long. It'll be way too long for me already. Way cool. Alrighty, folks. This will start to conclude my um, video here for Dive Bomb. If you haven't yet, please hit the like and subscribe. This is Jesse B signing out till next time. Have a good one.